Today on Garden Fork, a review of the Troy Built Flex system. What do I think? Stay tuned. Go get it. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today we're going to do a review of the Troy Built Flex system. Uh, full disclosure, Troy Built sent me this for free and they compensate us for our time. All the opinions are ours, all right? But we've spent the summer with the Troy Built system here and I thought I'd make a video and tell you all about it, all right? All right, had a little mishap during the filming here, so this isn't the most shiny, clean, Troy Built machine. Uh, you'll see why later, but it does work very nicely. A little oops. The whole idea here is one power unit and a bunch of different, basically, pieces of power equipment. We have the mower and the pressure washer here. They also have a snow blower, and they're coming out with some new stuff as well. Uh, I was, like, hinting that they should do, like, a log splitter. But this works like this. There's a kickstand in the back here. I flip that down, tilt this, and I separate the power unit from the piece of power equipment. What I like about this is you've got one engine and a bunch of different tools. So you only have to maintain one engine instead of five or six of them. It also takes up less space in your garage that way. One engine, a bunch of accessories. That's important for you. I have to throw the ball. So when I want to hook this up to the mower, I lift this up, disengage the kickstand, and we connect it in, and we're ready to go. It just snapped on. It's really a smart system. <gasps> this is a double blade mower deck, and it's 28 inches wide. And our push mower is 20 inches wide. So every time I cut a swath with this, I'm cutting eight more inches. So I actually get the thing done a lot faster, which I like. So this puppy, you sit it like this, ready to go. When you're done with your mower, you can disconnect the mower deck and you can come over to your pressure washer here, line this puppy up, and now time to clean your mower. So then when you're ready, you want to put this away Ooh. and then boom, you're done. So you can put this away. Again, less space for a bunch of power equipment. I like that. The Flex will do a mulching mower. It will do a side discharge and also has a side bag unit if you want. I've got it on the mulching mower. I'm a big fan of that. The front wheels spin. You can also lock them so that they will be straight as well. Just pop this over here throw the ball. What I thought was really smart about this is when you go to change your gas, the cap is chained into the tank. No more lost gas caps. I like that. So this is to engage the power wheels. This takes a little bit of getting used to. You kind of, the feathering range is kind of minimal, so it's either on or off. But if you feather it, you'll get the, you'll get the picture. I thought this was really smart. To drain the oil, a lot of engines, they just stick the plug over here. This, they piped it out, so you've got a clear area here 
to drain your oil. It's just kind of like attention to detail. That's what I like. Oil, easy to change. Dipstick, Labrador. We've got a prime, we've got choke, safety switch, 208 cc's, more than enough to mow your lawn and run all the other equipment that it has. All right, there you go. I give this a thumbs up. I like this unit. I like the idea of the one engine for many different power equipment pieces. We got the um, mower deck here. The pressure washer works really nice. We have to do the back of the house actually with that. They also have a snow blower and they're hinting at some other things they're coming out with. Uh, I'm big hint for Troy built as a log splitter. That would be really nice for this. I could do all the firewood for winter there. So let me know any comments or questions in the show notes below here. Love to hear from you all. And if this is your first time here, we put out shows like this every week. The DIY Living, it's Garden Fork, the subscribe button here as well. All right? Make it a great day. Make it a great day.